Hey, let's get a little So Memorial Day weekend, I hope that you are resting, enjoying your family, enjoying your friends, enjoying some hot dogs, enjoying some good food with family or friends. Um, but we are also learning because learning is our legacy. Teaching is our legacy and black heroes are a part of that legacy. So celebrate yourself, celebrate others, right? We're going to learn today about Colonel Charles Young. 1864, he was born. 1922, he passed. He was a U.S. Army colonel. Born in Mays Lick, Kentucky, Colonel Charles Young was admitted to the, U to the U.S. Military Academy at West Point in 1884. Though he was ostracized because of pre racial prejudice, he, perse he persevered and graduated on August 31 in 1889. His career began when Blacks had just recently been allowed to serve, but were still restricted to all Black regiments. During the period, the Black regiments in the 24th Cavalry earned respect when they rescued Theodore Roosevelt's Rough Riders at San Juan Hill. Young, in charge of the 9th Ohio Regiment in the Spanish-American War, advanced to become the highest ranking black in the U.S. Army in 1918. In November 1919, he was appointed military attached to the U.S. Embassy in Liberia, where he helped reorganize Liberian forces. Isn't that neat? He died while on a research expedi expedition to Lagos, Nigeria. So who better to celebrate today than Colonel Charles Young? Another man named Garrett Morgan, 1877-1963. He was an inventor without whom we might not have a couple of really, 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 really popular inventions. Let me tell you about it. Garrett Morgan's safety helmet, patented in 1912, was used by the Allied forces in World War I and served as the prototype of the modern gas mask used by fire departments and emergency rescue squads today. In 1923, Morgan became began Morgan also patented the three-color electric electric traffic signal, which now stands on almost every street corner worldwide. If you have ever stopped at a light, he is the person to credit Garrett Morgan. In Cleveland, Ohio, in 1916, a gas explosion in the waterworks trapped city workers in a tunnel 250 feet below Lake Erie. Morgan led a crew consisting of his brother Frank and several firemen, all wearing Morgan's safety helmets, into the tunnel. They rescued six unconscious people who otherwise would have perished with the 21 others who did pass away. Four white members of that rescue squad were awarded medals by the city and heralded as heroes, while Garrett Morgan, whose ingenuity and bravery inspired the rescue effort, was virtually ignored. The city government never recognized him for his act of heroism, so we recognize you today, Garrett Morgan. Okay, one more. Colonel Allen Allensworth. I really like this person. Uh, 1842, he was born. 1914, he passed. He was the chaplain and founder of Allensworth, California. Allen Allensworth was born into slavery in Louisville, Kentucky. He taught himself to read and write at age 12 and was sold because his owners feared he would make trouble. Making trouble, learning, get the correlation. We can't learn because we might be too smart we might be too educated we might be too much of a threat so there's a threat in learning he was sold again at age 19 but gained his freedom two years later after a stint with the u.s army allensworth pursued a degree in theology at the nashville institute later known as roger williams university and received an honor honorary master of arts degree in 1886 President Grover Cleveland appointed Reverend Allensworth chaplain to the all-black 24th Infantry. In 1908, Allensworth and a group of men received corporation, 
papers to colonize a tract of land in California, which became the all black town of Allensworth. It grew to be a thriving community of farmers, artisans, teachers. In 1976, the Colonel Allensworth State Historic Park located west of the town was named